Let's talk about how to generate mortgage leads using Facebook ads in 2024. Let's jump into it. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you two different types of ads that you can run on Facebook ads as a mortgage broker or as a loan officer if you wanna generate exclusive buyer leads, mortgage leads using Facebook ads. I'm gonna show you two of the best templates that we're using today. Anybody can take these start an ad today, start generating leads today. So let's just jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing. All right, so there's two main ads that we run all the time, pretty much everywhere. The first one is gonna be listings. The second one is going to be first time home buyers. All right, so I'm gonna show you what, how we set these ads up. Now, the thing to know about both of these ads is that they're gonna use the IDA method, okay? And if you look back, I've got a, I'll link the video here in, in this video about Ida, but it's basically attention, interest, desire, action, attention, interest, desire, action. It's like a hundred year old, you know, way of running ads that, um, well, I wouldn't even say running ads because at the time this actually was built off of a guy who did door to door medical sales and he would do it over four meetings. But nowadays we can do it like in one ad, you know? So I'll show you how this kind of works. So in a normal, um, Let's see. So I'll just use this pen real quick. So in a normal ad, it's going to look like this on listings, right? We're going to have some like this, a button, and we're going to have some text here. Okay. So we're going to have text above. We're going to have a photo, right? So this is going to be a pic. And then we're going to have a headline with a button below it. That's what like, basically that's what every ad is going to look like, right? So your ads are no different. That's pretty much that's pretty much what yours are going to look like too. So let's just look at how do we actually, um, what does this actually look like if we go to build it out, right? So again, I like using the IDA method. So knowing that, the first thing I'm trying to do is get somebody's attention, right? So in this case, if it's like a brand new listing, I might just say like just listed in city, and and that'll be my kind of my headline. That way. If somebody's looking for a listing in this city, cool. They might be interested in this. If they're not look, looking for a property in this town, then they know they can scroll past, right? And no reason, to, no reason to waste their time. Okay, so for now, I'll just put a period there. Um, what are what's something that people love to know? Well, they love to know how many bedrooms is in the house. So you know, I might start with that, right? So three bedroom home. And in the case of an ad, I don't want to overwhelm people. I don't want to give them all the information. I'm just trying to give them enough to entice them to complete my form, right? That's basically my goal here is give them just enough so that they feel compelled to fill out my form and get more information. So in that case, I like to tell them like, you know, with two things, you know, with blank and blank. All right. So that's going to be kind of my interest. So you see, I've got my attention just listed in city. My interest is going to be three bedroom home with blank and blank. Oops. So if they're interested in a three bedroom home, I've still got them. If they need something different, they can go on, right? Now I want to create some desire. One way that I like to create desire is what I call a FOMO statement, right? FOMO, fear of missing out. Some might say something like, check out this backyard. You know, where they're like, oh, I want to see the backyard. Okay. Only other thing that I'm doing, and I'm going to show you right now, is I use this website, Emojipedia. And if you come over here and you type in house, you can find this one right here, house with garden. So I copy that. And then on my sketch pad, you know, over here, like when I'm writing my, oh, it's not going to do it. Oh, rats. So I won't put it. But usually right here in the beginning, I'm putting an emoji right there. And then, you know, I'm not putting a period. Oops. Okay. So you kind of get the idea, right? So, and then it'd be like an X after. So these X's right here would be the emoji. So I like to throw a little emoji on the first just to make it a little bit different, make it pop, make it stick out a little bit, right? Three bedroom home, blank and blank. Then I'm gonna tell them again, check out the backyard. So here I'm throwing in a pic of the, you know, of the house, right? So this is gonna be like the front of the house. Usually um, that's what's gonna be the, that's what's gonna work the best. Now, remember right here, we said we have a headline, okay? Now, if somebody's all the way to the headline, where they're making a decision about clicking through to get more information. I don't necessarily want to give them any more information about the house, right? Sometimes people feel compelled to like tell, tell more information because we really didn't tell them that much. But remember in Ida, what's missing, right? So far as the action, 
So if I think about like what type of things create action in an ad, when somebody's looking at a house, what do they want to know, right? Well, they want to see all the pictures. So I could tell them that, right? See all the pictures. What else do they want to do? They want to get the price, right? They want to see inside. I could tell them those type of things in the headline to get them compelled to want to um, actually click through. And then again, right here, there's going to be a little button, you know, that has some text on it or whatever as well. That's going to get people to actually take action. So when you look again, if we look at the Ida method, attention, just listed in city, interest, three bedroom home with blank and blank, desire, check out this backyard, action, see all the pictures, get the price, see inside, right? Click. Now we've got them in the Facebook, you know, if you're using a Facebook forms, they're going to automatically be filled out. And that's how you can use a listing with a realtor and be able to grab some, be able to grab some deals. Now over here, if we look at first time buyers, okay, again, this is going to be a photo here. Wow. I'm going to write this, this, I like using a collage on this. Kind okay. well, of, you get the idea a collage. So where it's like three or four photos together, four is usually what I go with. Use pictures that are representative of first time home houses in your market. Okay. So just be sure of that, right? You don't want to go to some website and steal photos or whatever. And it's like houses from some city that you're not, it doesn't look anything like your town. You want to make sure not to do that. So again, on Ida, we're using that same kind of method over here on these first time buyers. Right, what's an idea of how we could do that? So we could say like, attention city renters, you know, and again, we can do the same thing where in the beginning we're putting an emoji, right here we're putting an emoji. Okay, so we got their attention. Attention city renters, we're literally saying the word attention. So what's their interest? Well, if they're renting and we want them to get to buy a house, we could say something along those lines, right? Like new programs, Make it easier for renters to become homeowners in 2024. Okay, so now we've got their attention or their interest. Or they're like, okay, I want to become a homeowner in 2024. So now we want to get their desire, right? So one way we get desire is we go with less than blank in the bank. So just like an idea, right? Where you can put that in parentheses if you want. And like, for example, that could be the text, right? Hey, new programs make it easier for renters to become homeowners in 2024 with less than X amount of dollars in the bank. And just use whatever number makes sense for you, right? If somebody was going to buy like an FHA house with three and a half percent down, whatever the thing is, like, you know, put the number, man, just put whatever the number needs to be. But oftentimes, if you could get some seller incentives and things like that, you know, the number is less than what most people think it is. And so that's the kind of the point of putting the number out there. Um, okay, so headline. So we're going to do the same thing, right? We're going to have a little headline here that might say like, like find out how much home you qualify for today. I don't know. That's like an example, right, of what what a headline could look like. And then again, we would have a button here with some text that says like, learn more, get the, get the details, get the offer, whatever that looks like. But these are just two examples of ads you can run as a mortgage broker. You can run as Facebook ads to generate mortgage leads. Um, I mean, there's nothing better, right? Like I love the listing ads because oftentimes you can make realtors pay for those. Even first time home buyers, you could make realtors pay for those as well. But obviously if you're using their listing, they're way more apt to pay and be involved in the process because their listing is what's getting promoted. So uh, hopefully that helps you out with uh, actually getting started with Facebook ads or if you've used them in the past, doing some new things so that you can get a little bit better results. If you want some help with that, check out what we're doing inside a Legion of Loan Officers where you have my full support and access to everybody else that's inside the Legion and we can help you have results like this. Uh, we also have a software called Complete LO that has a Facebook ads manager built into the software. So all of our templates, you know what I'm showing you here today, all of our best performing ads, all of our best automations, 
to convert uh, leads into conversations. All those things are inside. You can visit completelo.com for that. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe, you know, click the bell button, subscribe to the channel here so you can get notified and uh, be able to see new videos as I put them out every Wednesday. And we'll see you back next week. Later.